Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to plot bar graph using Matplotlib library. So here I am going to use a simple X data. So what it will do, it will generate a sequence of numbers starting from 0. Let me show you. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will be used as a x-axis data. And for y, what we will do, for y, let me take some data. So I'm going to write 10, 30, 50, 25, and 40. So the reason I'm writing point after these number to represent that these number are real number, not integers. And then what we need to do, we need to write plt dot bar x y. And finally we need to show this plot. So as you can see, uh, our data has been drawn. Now if you want to add some extra you want to customize this one you can change color let me take it red okay if you want to change the width you can write width and let's say 0.5 uh, sorry this is not in single quote this is in number actually okay so it's working now Sometimes we need to provide a comparative bar graph. So how to do that? So let's say we are having two data One is y one is z and in z we are having 25 30 10 20 and 70 So if you will I just uh, simply use plt dot bar one more time what it will do it will plot a stacked bar graph let me show you what is that so this time I'm going to use color green and width I'm going to use point five mm. So what's the problem? Here we forgot to provide a comma. So as you can see, this is a stacked bar graph. Okay, let me change this data a little bit. So what we actually want to do, we want to represent these bar along with each other. So here what we need to do, here we will write x plus 0 0.10 or the first one we will write x plus 0 and the second one x plus 0 0.10. Now, as you can see, it's uh, drawing properly, but they are overlapping. So, how to solve this one? So, here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write here 0 0.50. So, now it's working perfectly. Or you can do this thing, you can make it 0 0.50, and here the width also you can take 0.4. So in the similar way you can add some more data in this graph. Now if you want to provide a legend information what we will do we will write here label. Let's say we will call it A and here we will write label B. And before showing this plot we will call legend. So it will show you which uh, bar belongs to which graph. So 
red represent A, green represent B. So this is the way you can uh, plot bar graph. So in case if you need a horizontal bar, so what you need to do, you simply just provide bar H. Just wait. Okay, so this is the horizontal bar graph. Thank you very much for watching.